Hey, welcome back, my radio friends. My name is Tom. This is the Radio Dog Channel. Uh, today I'm doing a quick overview of my antenna system. It's a nice day. We had a few days of rain out here. Um, and I'm getting ready to do some various projects, including actually take this antenna down uh, for uh, uh, for some tree work that I'm going to do. Uh, be but before I did that, I thought I would at least give you a an overview of this uh, random wire antenna uh, which has been up in the trees for about five years and it's doing a great job and I hardly uh, need to do anything to it um, but let me show you what I got so the first step is uh, let's take a look at the feed point okay at the feed point of my antenna is this 9 to 1 un un it's an unbalanced to unbalanced transformer. And what this does is it uh, matches the impedance of the antenna wire to the impedance of the transmission line, which is a piece of coax, uh, kind of a garden variety uh, radio coax, uh, which comes out of the bottom of that thing. Uh, and you can barely see the wire. This is a really stealthy antenna. It's about, um, trying to do this. It's about 85 feet. It goes up about 10 feet or 12 feet or so into this tree and then off into the woods. And if I could show you that, uh, I would, but it's, it's pretty hard to see. And a lot of times I'm looking up trying to see if the, the antenna is still there and I can't see it. Now I, I have a nice property here so I can get away with, uh, 85 feet of wire up in the tree, you may not be able to, but uh, you do the best you can, right? Uh, I'll put a link in the description for how to get one of these uh, transformers. I think they're about 40 bucks, maybe a little cheaper. But the coax goes under this uh, bed of Pachysandra. It goes through a piece of, or several sections of uh, electrical conduit right along here the edge of the walk it uh, pops out there one of those things that's uh, sticking up out of the ground and then the wire uh, comes along the edge it's actually two wires I have another one out there too and it goes into the basement through that window there so uh, just as important as what's outside is what's inside and so I will show you what uh, many uh, are interested in knowing is how do I get the uh, connection directly to the radio and so let's go downstairs and I'll show you that okay we're back inside and um, this is my radio desk in my basement the window through which that uh, piece of coax comes is right over there uh, and it's connected to the ceiling I'm not going to bother to show all that to you comes down and so uh, here's uh, the end of the line uh, so let's take a look at a couple of different ways that I or the way that I uh, get it from uh, the end of the coax into my radios okay here we go okay so this is the uh, Oh my goodness, what a mess. Okay, so here we are. This is the, uh, the end of the uh, coax. And um, the first thing that, uh, that I do, I used to have, um, sorry, I'm trying to get this adapter off. So here is the end of uh, the coax. I think this is RG8, and maybe RG58. I'm not 100% sure, and I got it kind of sloppily assembled here. Uh, but this is the uh, the terminus of the antenna, and um, I used to have just bare wires coming out the end of this and connecting it to, to various things, and it was kind of sloppy. But I wanted something that could be uh, connected and disconnected really simply. So what I came up with was some using some oops 
Uh, what I came up with was using RCA uh, connections. So this is just a kind of electrical metal electrical box that I that I got from uh, from Home Depot, and I bought these uh, these little jacks for RCA plugs, uh, and they're just really two jacks wired in uh, in uh, I guess it would be parallel, and uh, so I, I got a uh, an adapter for to take the uh, the coax. Uh, and make it into a uh, RCA plug. So, we'll stick that guy in here like so. Now what this enables is a nice quick connection. Oops. Alright, so that's what it looks like there. And then I just slide it into there. Now that gives me two um, jacks for antennas, and there's a variety of ways that I connect my radios to this. Uh, the simplest way is um, getting a, and you can get these from Universal Radio. I'll put a link in there as well. These are just regular audio cables. Uh, audio <coughs> cables are uh, basically coax, coaxial cables. They have a center conductor and a braid. And so you can get one that has uh, the RCA plug on one end and a mono plug on the other. And this is perfect for most small portable radios, right? So you, you plug that guy in there and then you're all, you're all good to go, right? So that would be, uh, you know, for most, most modern portables that have a, that have a, uh, whatever that is, 3.5 millimeter, or I think that's what it is, uh, headphone jack basically, but it's mono. All right, so that's one way uh, that I do it. I also have, move that to the side, uh, for radios like this, which don't have a jack, but have the two terminals, I just found an old, this is just an old video plug with an RCA end, and I just, uh, I won't show you the other end, but I just cut it off so that I had the two, uh, the, two uh, the, the braid and the conductor and uh, and so I can just wire that into my uh, into my older portables, and it does the same thing. Another feature is, and I've showed this before in previous videos, is uh, this little guy. This is for medium wave. Again, I found an old uh, RCA um, audio cable. This is just some junky old cable that I have. It's nothing special about it. Uh, one end is the plug, which goes into here, right? and the other end is about uh, six or seven loops. That's about, what, four inches of wire, um, and one end of the wire would be connected to the center conductor, and the other end of the loop would be con to the braid. So basically this is just the, the conductor and um, braid looped around seven times, and uh, what I do with this particular radio is I just loop it around. Right? You just set it in the back of the radio. Any this is kind of a a nice coil method to inductively uh, couple your radio for um, to your antenna for medium wave. And I use this all the time. Um, another way to do the same thing is to use the wire that I just described here. Let me get this loop out of the way. Um, I can use this connection and use, uh, this is my Texan um, AN-200, uh, which conveniently has a jack on the back. So I plug in that mono jack. It says output, but actually this creates, makes it an input. So the, uh, the signal from your antenna outside going through this into this and this effectively becomes uh, a coil which you put that by your radio and it does a fabulous job um, giving your radio a good medium wave signal. So that's my antenna system. I hope this has been helpful for you. I'll try to link the, the various components. Um, most of the stuff you can you can buy anywhere. This is I wanted this to be metal because I it's important in my noisy environment to have 
everything shielded properly. Uh, if I was really uh, a good boy, I would ground all this, but I, I have the the un un outside grounded. Um, I should I should put a grounding something on this, but um, uh, in any case, this uh, this does a great job. I hope this has been helpful, and uh, happy radio listening. <laughs>